Hi, John here from EPA, and today I'm here to talk about hazardous area classification and why your project might need it. Electrical Projects Australia. A hazardous area is an area where an explosive atmosphere may be present due to a source or release of either product or byproduct of a process or of a transfer of a flammable material. If you don't know whether or not you need a hazardous area classification performed on your site, you need to rely on your electrician or your electrical consultant to let you know if this is necessary. Because basically, the hazardous area classification comes out of AS3000, which is the uh, electrical wiring standards. And in that, in section seven, it refers to the AS60079 series. The next step would be to engage a hazardous area classifier to come and assess your site, assess um, product that would be producing the explosive atmosphere and determine what the gas dilution radiuses are, which will then tell you the zones, which will then give you the information needed to determine what sorts of equipment can sit in those zones. Basically, the main reason for doing this is to keep your site safe for many years to come. The probability of an accident occurring uh, is very low, but if you were to take that probability and, um, and broaden it to the entire scope of projects across, say, Australia or the world, you will occasionally get explosions um, from electrical equipment causing a spark in a hazardous area. The legislative reason why you need to get this done is that it's in AS3000, which is a legislated um, Australian standard. At EPA, we provide hazardous area classification hazardous area electrical design, and the hazardous area dossier, which is necessary at the end of the project. We now also provide conformity assessment documents, also known as CADs. So if you're interested in any of our services, go to electricalproductsaustralia.com.au and scroll to our hazardous area page, and you'll see that we have now got a few different services that we offer online through our online um, store. We also have a few calculators in there that can help you figure out what sort of equipment can go in what sort of zones and all of our contact details are there as well. So I hope this video can help you understand how to get a hazardous area project over the line. And thanks for joining us, I'll see you soon.